Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, we are going to have a look at Whirl, which is a reinforcement learning library. We are going to do a hands-on demo to understand what exactly this project is because I believe this is going to be a big thing, especially when it comes to post training of large language models. So Whirl is an advanced open source reinforcement learning training framework which has been designed for post-training large language models. It implements the hybrid flow architecture which enables both flexibility and efficiency when developing RL algos for LLMs using modern hardware and distributed environments. The framework features seamless integration with popular machine learning backends like PyTorch, FSTP, Megatron LM and VLLM that allows you to combine RL with your favorite language model libraries and took full advantage of powerful GPUs. The design is modular that decouples computation and data which helps you swap in different models, data sets and training strategies without any hassle. It also supports multi-GPU and cluster parallelism well, is specially suited to industrial scale experimentation and production use. So, in one liner, Whirl enables cutting edge RL research and development with large language models in order to do the prototyping, scaling, and deploying post training workflows. So, let's get it installed and we will see how it works. And by the way, this is from ByteDance. Uh, and we have covered a lot of other toolings and model from ByteDance. If you're interested, just search the channel. So I'm going to show you the easiest way of installing it. There are various ways, but we will be installing it through Docker, which is quite a hassle-free uh, way, especially when it comes to dependencies. I also want to give a huge thanks to Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU or VM, on a very very affordable price you can find the link to their website in videos description plus i'm also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50 percent for a range of gpu so please do check them out this is my ubuntu system and this is a gpu card which i'm using nvidia rtx nvidia h100 with 80 gp of vram one prerequisite which you need to have is to have docker installed i already have the recent version of docker if you don't know how to install it, just cite the channel. I have done a very easy to follow video on Docker. Now, as part of an example, what we are going to do, we are going to use Whirl and a, um, this GPU card from NVIDIA to train a large language models on GSM 8K dataset, which contains elementary math problem. We are going to use reinforcement learning technique, uh, PPO or proximal policy optimization, to improve the model beyond typical supervised fine tuning so and i will be talking more about it but first up let's pull the docker image of a world which contains all the prerequisites which we need so this is my new installation and this is just telling me that i need a permission on docker socket file let me do that so i'm just going to give it this permission and then let's run, run it again and now it is downloading everything which is needed in order to run well. And as you can see, we are downloading all the necessary packages, LLM backends, CUDA, world code, and all that stuff. So let's wait for it to finish. This is going to take a bit of a time, by the way. While that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video, who are IgentBot. IgentBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack, and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will drop the link to their website in video's description. And it's been almost 10 minutes and it is still running. I will let it run. While that happens, let's talk a bit more about the post training of these models. Post training is also called as post ad hoc fine tuning or alignment. What it refers to is to additional training that is performed on a model after its initial pre-training and often after supervised fine-tuning as well. While pre-training is done on a vast general text to help the model learn language structures and broad knowledge, and supervised fine-tuning adapts the model to specific tasks or user instructions, post-training goes a step further. 
by refining the model's behavior using specialized techniques, most notably reinforcement learning. In post-training, the model generates responses that are evaluated and scored using a reward function, which could reflect correctness, safety, helpfulness, or user preference. These scores guide further adjustment of the model's parameters. The objective here is to make the LLM more useful and safer and better aligned with human values or specific application needs going beyond what conventional data-driven learning can achieve. So that is what WORL is used for to do the post-training with reinforcement learning algorithm. And that is what we are doing with that GSM 8K dataset in this example. Okay, as we were talking, our Docker container is downloaded. Next up, let's create a workspace and CD into it. Uh, I'm creating it. I'm going to use it as sort of a local storage for the container. Now, when that's done, let's create a um, Docker container and then start well with it and we will also execute it. But first up, let's, uh, let's create the container with this Docker create command. I'm using NVIDIA's GPU. I'm using all the GPUs available. And you can see that I am using the directory which I have just created as a local volume or Docker container volume. And then this is the Docker image which we have just downloaded. And that is also done. Now let's start the Docker container and we will just log into that container. And you can see that now we are logged into the container. Next up, just cd to this uh, workspace, um, present working directory which we have done. And then from there, make sure that you upgrade your world. So this is what I'm doing within the container to make sure that everything is upgraded. And it is going to take a bit of a time to download and install and upgrade everything. And world is upgraded. So world is installed at this point. Now you can use your own data set and your own model, or you could just simply pre-process this GSM 8K, which they have provided in their GitHub repo. And this is going to download and then create all that um, in parquet format sp split around train and testing. And the next step is to download your model, whatever model you are going to use. So for instance, if I want to use this coins, just 0.5 billion instruct parameter model, I'm just downloading it like that. And you can see that it is downloading the model and its tokenizer, it has put it onto our GPU and our model and data set both are done. And then if you want to start that RL training or the post training with well, all you need to do is to run this command. I know it's a big command, but if you look at it, all we are doing here, we are specifying our data set. We uh, both in train and test in parquet format. And then we are specifying the data length, how much batches we want, and then some of the optimizer, some PPO hyperparameters, our model, and then some logging information and where we want to do the checkpointing and save it and how many GPUs we want to use. And also the total epoch sets, how many uh, run it is going to make on our data set. So that is all we are doing here. And once you run it, it is going to take a few hours or maybe more depending upon your system configuration and your data set. There you go, it has started it. So it will run for some time as you can see. And the training procedure is proceeding. It is going to take a long time. So I'm just going to let it run or I will just close it once I'm done here. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you're looking to do post training with Whirl, this is the most easy way. You can also install it um, by building it locally, but that is really pain in the back. You have to take care of a lot of uh, dependencies, especially when it comes to different backend. So I would suggest if you are using Whirl for post training, go with this Docker um, image that makes it so easier. I hope this was hopeful uh, and useful. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.